Hey, welcome back. Today's lesson is authentic leaders make sure they have a healthy heart. Because if we want to be leaders that are inspiring and consistently energizing, we have to make sure that our hearts are healthy. Because to be real with you, in case you haven't wondered, leadership isn't always what it cracks up to be. It's messy, it's inconvenient, it's not always the glory. And we can't give what we don't have. For example, if we don't feel energy, we can't give it, or not very long, we'll, we'll burn out, we'll become stagnant. If we don't feel love, we can't give love. If we're not passionate, we can't teach others or show others how to be passionate about them. If we're not, we can't change the world if we're not experiencing life change in our lives on a consistent basis. So leaders are constantly refilling themselves and aware of their heart because we can't give what we don't have. In my opinion, leadership is not necessarily the talent of their hands, but it's about the talent or, or the health of their hearts. So just like a tissue box when we're sick, we're constantly pulling tissues out to make us better. And often life, we can feel like leadership is that we're the tissue box. People are constantly pulling from us. People are constantly asking for us or life hits us, problems, personal things. You know, things don't go the way we want to go and we're constantly being pulled out to eventually we're like the tissue box that is empty and we feel like we're just being discarded. Great leaders are constantly refilling themselves, whether it's mastering their craft or pursuing personal growth. Everyone's different in how they refill themselves. So know your heart and what energizes you and what gets you excited. Some people, they need a constant vision or remind themselves of their vision. For me, personally, it is being quiet, being silent, and being aware of, of who I am and what my act, and if my actions are aligning with who I am. It's constantly asking yourself, why am I doing this? And it's not to add things on my plate or my to-do list. Oftentimes, refilling myself or having a healthy heart is taking things away that aren't aligning with my purpose and who I feel like I'm created to be. So often it's removing myself from apathetic people or removing myself from things that just aren't aligning with who I am. So know yourself and what makes your heart uh, healthy. So we are responsible for our own health and we are responsible for taking our next steps. People can't take next steps for us. And great leaders are constantly taking next steps to making sure that their heart is healthy so they can give what they already have. So make sure that your heart is healthy. And remember, uh, big things often start small.